What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be making Oreo truffles with just three ingredients. Now these Oreo truffles are so delicious. If you love Oreo cheesecake and white chocolate, these are definitely for you. There's no bacon involved, you don't need an oven, you don't even need a hob, which is a good thing because if you watched my most recent video, you'll know that mine blew up. It just cracked. Oh, interesting. So you can actually turn these into cake pops as well by just adding the stick. Like I said, you only need three ingredients and they are 60 grams of cream cheese. I like to use Philadelphia because it's nice and thick. Nine Oreos and 120 grams of white chocolate. So let's get started. The first step, we're gonna crush up our Oreos. So I'm gonna use a food processor, but you can also use a bag and rolling pin or you can just use a chopping board and a knife if you don't own a food processor. This is definitely the quickest and easiest way to do it though. So I'm gonna crush up the Oreos here and I'll leave a few and I'll show you how to do it with the bag and rolling pin as well. and then I'll leave two to crush up with the bag and rolling pin to show you. So we're just gonna blitz these until we get a fine crumb. There you go, a little extra for good luck. Perfect, now they're finally crushed, I'm gonna grab a bag and rolling pin for the other two. So I'm gonna put two Oreos in there. And now I've got my trusty rolling pin. I feel like this is the funner way of doing it. Like if you have any aggression that you need to get out, this is the way. Okay, I'm gonna grab our bowl and I'm gonna pour these in. Try and get all the crumbs out. Now I'm gonna pour the rest of them in. Next, we're gonna add the cream cheese, but I'm just gonna clear these bits away. That was easy. Okay, so we're gonna add in our cream cheese. It's slightly softened, so it's a little bit easier to mix. So we're just gonna keep pressing down through the mixture until it all comes together. It kind of forms like a sticky dough. Beautiful, that is looking perfect. So I'm gonna grab a spoon and we're gonna to start to roll it into balls. I'm gonna use a mini ice cream scoop. You need to scoop up about half a tablespoon's worth or about 15 grams. You can do it roughly. You should end up with about nine to 10 truffles. If you want to make more or less, you can always half it or double it or triple it or quadruple it to make as many truffles as your heart desires. Also, shameless plug. This recipe is actually in my first book. So obviously if you wanna get yourself a coffee, you can get it from Amazon. <laughs> so back to the recipe, this part, you're gonna get your hands messy. We're gonna scoop up. Yeah, that's about half a tablespoon. Pop it into your hand, roll it into a ball. Again, they don't have to be perfect because you can always re-roll these. This way, see how accurate I was. <laughs> 17. Okay, so mine are a little bit big, but that's absolutely fine. So you can use any Oreos you like. I've actually seen carrot cake ones in America before, and I feel like they'd be amazing. Let me know if you've tried them, because I wanna know what they're like. I swear when I go to America, there's so many flavors, literally a flavor for everything. I feel like lemon and white chocolate would also be amazing. There we go. So I have made nine truffles here. Now we're gonna freeze them for about 30 minutes or until they're firm and they've hardened and that's gonna make it 10 times easier to dip into the white chocolate. So I'll see you in 30 minutes. Well, not for you. I've, I'll be back in like two seconds. <laughs> Two seconds later. Now we're gonna melt our white chocolate. Now, usually, if we were making legit chocolate truffles, we would actually temper the chocolate, which means it would harden at room temperature. It would be perfect if you wanted to give it as a gift or something like that, because you wouldn't need to store it in the fridge. And it has that nice, like, hard snap to it as well. But because these have cream cheese in, we have to keep them in the fridge anyway, so we don't need to bother with that today. So I'm gonna weigh out 150 grams of the white chocolate. Did I say 120 at the start? If I did, ignore ignore that person. It's 150. <laughs> Turn on. Okay. 
points for Hangan 50. Yay! <laughs> what a guess! I'm going to break this up into chunks so it's easier to melt rather than just sticking a whole bar in the bowl. You can actually use any chocolate you like for the coating of these. So you could use milk chocolate or you could use dark chocolate or even like caramel or something like that. That would taste amazing. Perfect. Oh, just threw white chocolate across the table. So I'm gonna melt this in the microwave now, about 500 watts in 40 second bursts, stirring in between until it's fully melted. You could also melt this over boiling water on the hob, but as you guys know, my hob is broken. So microwave it is. A few moments later. Our chocolate is back, it's nice and melted. So I'm now gonna grab a plate and piece of parchment paper. Then we're gonna grab our Oreo truffles or Oreo balls, they're not quite truffles yet, out of the freezer. So I'm gonna use two forks to dip them and coat them in the white chocolate and then transfer them to the plate. I also have some extra Oreo crumbs here as that's gonna be our decoration. So I'm gonna dip the ball in the chocolate, coat it, get rid of any excess, and then just transfer it onto the plate. We can always trim the excess chocolate and then just top with the Oreo crumbs. Perfect, and then we're just gonna continue that. Okay, last one. Pick it up, dip it, coat it, lift it, drip it. <laughs> Did you get my reference to bop it there? Bop it. <laughs> Twist it. But that's it. So they can go in the fridge now. As you can see, some of them have pretty much set already because obviously the ball was frozen, so the chocolate has hardened already. But I'm gonna put them in the fridge and then we'll do a taste test. A few minutes later. Our truffles are out of the fridge, they're fully set, so I'm gonna transfer them onto a plate. Plated them up, I've trimmed the edges, I think they look pretty. So we're gonna do a taste test. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're so creamy and sweet in the middle and that chocolate shell has like the right amount of crunch. Oh, they're just so good. They definitely remind me of an Oreo cheesecake and they didn't take like any time to make. So guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like fun, easy recipe videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, let me know your recipe suggestions in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> oh. I was just seeing if they were moving. <laughs>